Next, we're going to have Abigail Moats. Abigail Moats is known as the, um, the expert communicator. Um, she's written numerous books. Um, Abigail Moats is an uh, international orator, professional motivational speaker, author, leadership trainer, award-winning self-professional human developer, and president and CEO of QA Enterprises, LLC. Abigail is a native of Cincinnati, Ohio. A uh, graduate uh, from Black the University Street. of Cincinnati. She holds a bachelor's Black degree Street. in communication and marketing. Oh. Uh, she, like, again, she's known as the expert communicating, the communication expert, I'm sorry. She empowers her audience, audiences to uh, communicate their plan, I mean, their pain and their passion to maximize and live their greatest lives. Please welcome Abigail Moore. Everybody say the power. The power. power. Say it one more time. The power, the power of a good decision. A good decision. I want to tell you two stories today because you all have heard a lot of information. But what you need to understand, it doesn't matter what anybody on this stage has done prior. You have a choice. Say, I, I have, a choice. have a choice. Two stories, two stories. There were two gentlemen, both with the same name, by the name of Wes more. Anybody ever heard this? Both grew up in Baltimore, Maryland. Listen to this. Both of them were approximately the same age. Both of them had single parents. Wow, right? Now listen. One was uh, by virtue raised by his single mother because the father left. Anybody know of a father leaving the home? Yeah, anybody know about that? And he was raised with some other siblings. And the situation wasn't so great. Now the other Westmore was raised by his single mother because his mother, his father died when Wes was three years of age. Somebody else talked about that today. Everybody say the power, the power of a good decision. Now listen, same environmental influences. Everybody say the same. The same. Poverty. Poverty. Drugs. Drugs. Negative environment. Negative environment. Negative people. Negative people. But guess what? Now, the first Westmore I want to talk about. He decided that the streets were going to be his mantra, right? So he had to take his code from the streets because he had to find out who he was and he didn't have a man to show him, so he had to get his identity from the environmental influences that were most prevalent in his life. The interesting thing is the other Westmore felt the same way. The only difference was he had a parent and a grandmother who cared about him. And they said, guess what? You're not going out like that. He said, the mother said to the other Westmore, you act up one more time. If I have to be called back to this school one more time, I'm shipping you off to military school. He said, oh, no, not me. Oh, you don't mean that, Grandma. Oh, come on now. You guys are playing with me. He acted up. No sooner than the next spring, he was sent to military school. He hated it. He set bombs off in the school, little fire bombs and little smoke bombs as jokes, right? You know about that? But he then discovered that, wow, I'm here. I might as well start to do something productive. He started to find out who he was. He was with kids, as Mr. Ty stated, that were richer than him, that had more experience, and that were supposed to be smarter. But then one day, Mr. Westmore, the other Westmore, got introduced to himself. And guess what? Out of 237 other military graduates, he graduated number one. Everybody say number one. Number one. Who wants to be number one? You can be number one of your own self. Now listen, the story continues. Let's go back to the first Westmore. Everybody say the power, the power. of a good decision. Of a good decision. The other Westmore was still caught up in the streets of Vimore. 
His mother was still struggling, working hard for her family. And that Westmore had two other siblings. As you imagine, he followed the traditional route, getting caught up in the streets, selling drugs, until one day, as an adult, he robbed a, he robbed a liquor store, actually a convenience store, with his brothers. Mm -hmm. And somebody got shot. Well, no, 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 no. His brother actually killed the store attendant, similar to Mr. Al's story. And so what happened, however, because the first Westmore was caught up in circumstances, he'd already had a record. So by virtue of being with, everybody say, the wrong environment, the wrong and, environment. and the wrong crowd, the wrong will crowd. get you caught up. And so because of the fact that he already had a record, and his brother killed the man, but they weren't letting that brother go. They were going to get the first Westmore. Wow, interestingly enough, with the parallels of the story, everybody said the other Westmore. The other Westmore. He had already gone to, he actually went to Harvard. He actually became a Rhodes Scholar. He was traveling the world. He got to South Africa and was doing government work. And then happened to hear about a story back home in Maryland, Baltimore, his hood, about the cops looking for, everybody say, the other, the other. Westmore. Westmore. Do you know that he was petrified because the cops, the FBI agents, came to his mother's house looking for that Westmore? <gasps> Can you believe it? Wow. Both of them with the same names, from the same community, but everybody say the power, the power. of a good decision. Of a good decision. The first Westmore was on the run for 12 days until they finally caught up with him. They locked him up and were determined to throw away the key because he's currently serving, everybody say a life sentence. A life sentence. But then again, say the other Westmore, the other Westmore heard about the story, making excellent choices in his life, living a tremendous life, but he was haunted and petrified because he kept thinking, who is this other guy from Baltimore, my hood? And they're looking for him. That could be me. He was so captivated by that story. He went and found the guy in the prison system wrote to him a letter and said, hello, Wes, I'm the other Wes Moore. I'd like to meet you. And do you know, he was scared. He didn't understand why he was so taunted by this other Wes Moore. But you can understand, arguably, somebody has your name, right? That's doing these things. So then a month later, the first Wes Moore wrote back to the other Westmore, and they became friends. And as a result of that, you can read Westmore's story in any local bookstore. But he was haunted by the fact that if he would have continued making those poor decisions, that would have been his plight. Does everybody get this understanding? Yes. That it does not matter, everybody say, does not matter, does not matter. where I start. It matters where I choose and make a decision to end up. 